Oh boy. What a joke. What a joke. Holy shit. Let's just have a great old look at Twitter. Oh man, I cannot believe this. I mean, I can believe it, but I can't believe it. All right, what's up guys? Holy shit. I mean, I don't know what to say anymore, guys. I really don't. I mean, I definitely feel bad for the players. Um... I don't know. It just... Obviously, there's a lot more important things in life, but this is just really shitty. I mean, obviously, it comes down to... I think a lot of us... A lot of us are NHL fans, so we see the decision-making lately and over the last year or two, and the Olympics getting canceled for the NHL, and... I don't know. I just think the IIHF makes the NHL look like freaking geniuses with these with these restrictions and stuff I, I don't know i mean some of these rulings with the IIHF is just i don't know how to sugarcoat it it's just stupid it's just bullshit um so i mean here's what i'll say and i kind of mentioned it a few times was if they were actually going to be strict with these restrictions um, or at least strict with, let's say, um, yeah, like in other leagues, they should have been strict in the world juniors. I don't know why they went ahead. I, I saw someone tweet about it. I don't know why they went ahead to cancel the U18 women's tournament and didn't put restrictions on the, like the behavior and the actions of like all players and all staff. Um, so I mean, to me, it's just they they lack the balance of priority with just common sense. Again, if you were trying to prioritize a certain tournament, you should have at least been smart about it. Uh, it seems like they just kind of were lazy with some tournaments. Like I said, the U18 women's, they just canceled and just said, screw it, because they're idiots. And uh, instead of trying to reschedule it, uh, just like these games. I mean, they, they, they were just lazy in it. They just kept saying forfeit you know that was their rulings um i don't know i don't know what else to say the double ahf is a joke i'm not afraid to say that um yeah i don't know i don't know what else to say you guys comment in the chat i'm i'm curious to see what you guys think about this your thoughts i mean i feel like you guys know my thoughts so It's, um, yeah, it's really disappointing. And honestly, we don't need to go into different discussions right now, but if you guys didn't see it eight minutes ago, the OHL announced the reinstatement of London Knights defenseman Logan Mayu. So they just decided to sneak that in there. The World Juniors is getting canceled, and the OHL just sneaked this in here. This is our world right now. That was a priority right now, to announce a reinstatement of Logan my you. I don't I don't know I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say.
Um, LL8. Wait, what? Darkness? No, they're just... Someone's saying LLHF because just the L's. <laughs> they're an L. If that's what you're saying. Um, yeah, I guess we can do an NHL live stream tonight if you guys want. I don't know if I'm kind of in the mood, but... I mean, I, I guess we could try or do a stream. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys want to give your thoughts, a lot of people are just saying kind of what I'm saying. This is bull bullshit. I mean, I kind of posted on Twitter. I don't really have too much to say. I said a little bit, but. Anyways. Well, Jeremiah, I'm not going to agree or disagree on that part of it. I'm just going to say that I don't know why. Um, I don't know. Just the timing for me is suspect. That's it. I'm not going to go into it. Um, yeah. Yep. World Juniors is canceled. I think a lot of people think it's like fake or something. Like you guys understand what canceled is. Cancel is canceled folks. It, there's no, <laughs> I don't understand why people are confused on that. I mean, I'm kind of, sh I'm, I'm shocked, but not shocked. Like it's, it's like, am I surprised anymore? Not really. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn on TSN right now. Um, yeah, Jeremiah, that's what I was just talking about. I was talking about the timing of it, like, the World Juniors gets reported canceled, and less than 10 minutes later, the OHL tries to sneak in the Logan Mayu reinstatement. Sometimes I think those things aren't by accident. Um, well, Jimbo, uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. I was trying to see if they were talking about it on TSN at all, but. There you go, Mike. Anyways. Um, I'm just trying to think. Honestly, guys, I just went live. I don't really. I'm just kind of just chilling with you guys right now. I don't know what to say, so. Uh, there is a press conference coming out at some point. I don't even know if I have any interest in listening to the bullshit that's probably going to come out of that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like more more people than not are on the side of like... I feel like when we look at certain things in life, obviously, um, this is... Like, there's a lot bigger things in life than this, but in terms of like priority and in terms of risk uh, i think this was very avoidable again i'm no i'm no health expert so i'm no medical expert i'm not going to get into that conversation but i think this was very easily avoidable and that's the frustrating part for me and i mean anyone that's questioning the devil ihf uh like Anyone, sorry, anyone that's not questioning, I mean, just look at their priorities. They they canceled without even a second effort. They canceled the women's U18 tournament. They made no extra effort to make that tournament happen or at least postpone that tournament and, and schedule it at a different date. So they not only did they do that, now they've made no added effort to make this World Juniors tournament happen. For them, it just wasn't worth it. Like the money, the risk, 
the possible backlash. They're just, they, they don't even want to make an effort. Ah. Okay, well, Ararma. I, I mean, personally, I would think NHL 22 and PAX is probably the least of the worry in all this. Uh, sorry, I, I know uh, you're, you're personally upset about that, but I, uh, I would think that's probably on the lower tier of things that suck here. <laughs> uh, some of you make me laugh. Uh, Graham says, love the streams earlier way, either way, and these introduced me to your channel. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, Graham, I'm still going to do other streams and videos. I stream a lot for the NHL, which that's not going to change. I mean, I want to look at the schedule tonight. I was kind of looking at the games. Maybe I stream for, like, Oilers, Blues. That's at 8.30. Mike Smith is back. I mean, that could be a solid game. Um, yeah, I don't know. That would be the only game that would probably interest me at a decent time. Or, I mean, Devil Sabres... Only because it's Alex Tuck's debut. Rangers Panthers could also be good, but we'll see. No, I know, Jack. That's what makes me mad, too. The lack of attempt here, the lack of effort. I think that's what makes me mad. This kind of like them canceling it like this just screams just kind of uh covering their ass i would say i think that's the best way of saying it for me them canceling like this is just covering their ass they realize that this is this virus has a crazy spread um like the rate to like contra uh contract this virus is like really high so i i don't know i i think they're just covering their ass they don't really care about what comes out of it um, or how deadly it is, all that stuff doesn't come into play here. I think they're just covering their ass. You guys can keep repeating yourself. I, I'm with you guys. I, I'm not disagreeing. I know you guys are, I, I guess you guys are just sharing your thoughts, which is cool. I, I mean, I'm just letting you guys know that we all know this, and I'm telling you guys why they canceled anyways, because they're covering their ass, and, I mean, the restrictions are lazy, to say the least. This this is so, this was so avoidable. Like, the IIHF is just stupid. It's just plain and simple to me. Um, well, Cameron... Again, money talks, right? Money talks. Whether it was they wanted fans in the stands or they wanted, um, yeah, I mean, they didn't want to do a bubble again. Yeah, so this press conference apparently is happening at some point tonight. I don't know exactly at what time, but um, yeah, I don't know. It might happen sooner than later. Damn, Jeremiah, that sucks. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions in the chat, if I have answers for them, I definitely can do my best at that. Um, if you're a new viewer and you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Sucks. It's like on two different sides here, I just, yeah, I mean, well, three different sides probably. I, I feel bad for the players. I would say it just angers me as a hockey fan to see this sport just completely in different ways just get shit on. It, to me, it's it's that perspective in a big way. In a span of, what, like two, three weeks, the NHL has embarrassed themselves. Um, Canceling the NHL. Well, NHL players not going to the Olympics in the form of how everything's going. And then now this. Let's just say hockey as a sport is not looking so hot right now, I would say. 
And some people are going to disagree on that. People are going to be like, oh, man, there's a lot bigger things than hockey and and this should be canceled, the safety. And you know what? I, I can understand that perspective. But to me, I, I again, I'm going to keep it hockey here. But at least in my view on things and view on life, I try to see kind of both ways and I try to see a, ba- a balanced mentality. And I feel like there was a way here to do this and be smart about it. And I just feel like it went from one extreme to the next. I hate I hate the whole zero to a hundred thing, and and that's exactly what went down here. And I understand that's kind of exactly how the virus is. This virus is zero to a hundred. But, anyways, yeah. I mean, guys, I was gonna make a video. I don't know what to say. I was gonna make a video um, because. I don't know if you guys saw it. So Alex Kalorn of the Tampa Bay Lightning, I don't know if you guys saw this quote. He basically said, I'm going to pull it up here. I think I have it. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, Alex Kalorn. This is the quote from Alex Kalorn. He says, it seems like it's always Canada. That's the reason that a lot of things don't happen. Which could very well be a, a factor here. I don't really know. I think this is more the double IHF, but it definitely could be a factor in Canada of Canada. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait for the press conference and for more information to go out. But as far as I can see, the double IHF um, is a lot to blame here for. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I know, but I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Let's try to get 100 likes. So I'll probably still make a video talking about a bunch of shit, but yeah. No, I mean, Jordan, I I wouldn't say 100%, but I do think that if it was in a different location, there is a potential of this tournament not getting canceled. Yeah. And man, this sucks. I mean, you know who this actually really does suck for? Well, it sucks for everyone involved, but one player it sucks for big time is Owen Power. This guy basically shaped a lot of his decision making over the last year based on winning a championship with Michigan and playing and winning a gold medal with the with Team Canada in the World Juniors. Oh my god, that sucks. So, yeah. Don't think Owen Power is feeling too hot right now. Root, the title the title says it all, but we can pull up the tweets again if you want. It's just it's as simple as the World Juniors is cancelled. There's not too much else to it. Well, there is more to it, but it's just the World Juniors is cancelled. Um So I'm I am trying to see if there is anything else coming out. Um but as far as I can see, most of the insiders and most people reporting on it are just waiting for the press conference at this point. Yeah, Oliver. The uh, the IIHF was really lazy here, 100%. Could it still resume? Is there a chance? Mm. I don't think so. I really don't think so. Uh, yeah, I do think Shane Wright hurt his draft stock a little bit. I mean, here's my thing. like, It's such a short and small sample size here. I would say the, the moments in the World Juniors like where I look the most for these players is like in the knockout stages, is in like when it's do or die. I feel like 
Again, no disrespect to these two teams, but can I really evaluate Shane Wright completely against... I mean, Czech Republic's all right. They're decent. But against them and Austria... What's up, Marcus? Again, guys, welcome if you're a new subscriber. Thanks for being here. I'm still going to do other streams, still going to do other videos. But as of right now, I mean, here's what I'll say. I hope in a way that if they are going directions of re rescheduling or postponing or canceling things, I hope the Olympics get postponed. I, I honestly, that's what I, I really hope for at this point. I, I don't think it's likely, likely, I really don't think it's likely at all, but if there's one thing that I'm hoping for at this point, I mean, a lot of people say it, um, expect disappointment and you're not disappointed, so I'm going to try to not expect anything, but um, yeah. What's up, Dan? How's it going, King Kenny? So guys, if there's an NHL game you want me to stream tonight... Is there a game that kind of catches your eye? Again, personally, for me, I was looking at the Blues-Oilers game. It's Mike Smith's return. But also, Alex Tuck is making a Sabres de debut tonight. Um, Bruce Boudreau against his former team. Um, yeah, I don't know. Return of Barkoff, yeah. I think he's returning. Panthers-Rangers should be good. I don't know. The reason also why I was thinking the Oilers Blues game is because it's at eight thirty Eastern time. It's just like a nice medium. Like the other games are at seven. Like those other two games are at ten. Like eight thirty for me, it just seems like a healthy medium. Did I mean to quote Zendaya? Is that a Zendaya quote? Uh, I didn't know that was a Zendaya quote. I've just seen that quote online before on Twitter and shit. Well, <laughs> I didn't know that, so there you go. Well, respects to Zendaya, I guess she knows what she's saying. But I think that's an alright quote. I mean, you always want to be... Oh, wait, it was in the movie. Oh, yeah, it was in No Way Home. No spoils, no spoils. <laughs> okay, never mind. That's where I got it from. Ignore me. That's definitely where I got it from. <laughs> okay, ignore me. <laughs> I was wondering where I got that from. 100%, you're right. <laughs> That's funny. That's actually funny that I quoted that. I, I thought I just saw that on the internet. I think I still did see it on the internet, but there you go. <sighs> That's how just frustrated and like out to lunch I am right now. All right. Any other questions you got for me? I'll stay live here for a bit more. Well, no, Mike, that's not. Daniel, relax, bud. Go grab a snack. Um,. But Mike, no, I to me, I, I give an exception for this one because of COVID with theaters and stuff. So, especially in Canada. So for me, the spoiler thing still applies. Daniel, I didn't own it as my own quote, buddy. So you're a little bit of a scrub. It's all good, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, Jordan. No, I don't think it was right to cancel Gary at all. Do I live in Canada? Yeah, Isaiah, I live in Toronto. GTA. I know, Logan. That's how you that's how you know the guy's like a ten year old. But he doesn't know when to stop. <laughs> uh Adam, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yo, that sucks. Hey, two more likes to 100. Appreciate you guys.
Davey, what's up, buddy? Let me see. Uh, I don't know what channel that's on. Uh, maybe this. I'm trying to think of what channel that's on. CT or CP24. That's CTV. I don't know what channel that's on. Whatever. Um, yeah. Jose says, hi, John. Canada was playing good. Yeah, they were playing solid. What's up, Patrick? Yeah, Dave, yeah, as of right now, the uh, the Ottawa-Toronto game is still on, but I don't know, man. I don't know how that one's still on. Like, the only reason that one's still on is because of Sportsnet, I'm pretty sure. Because Sportsnet asked the NHL, again, big money maker, and they don't want to upset their broadcasters. Um, basically, the NHL, as far as I know, guys, was going to cancel the Toronto-Ottawa game and the Toronto-Edmonton game, I believe. Again, don't hold me on this, but this is what I'm pretty sure I saw. Um, yeah, like I'm pretty sure they would have canceled both those games, but because of Sportsnet and the broadcasting rights, I think that they asked them to keep at least two games, and those being the two games through Sportsnet. So, yeah, they uh, they still might cancel those games. World Juniors is not on right now, buddy. What's up, Marcus? We got 160 in the chat. Welcome if you're a new subscriber, guys. Appreciate you being here. I might stream an NHL game tonight. We'll see. Yeah, thank you, Davey. I appreciate you. Thanks for being a supporter. What's up, Deli? How's it going, Brian? Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, KP, I was just saying, I don't know if the lease will be back. Uh, it's still up in, up in the air. Daniel, buddy, just can you acknowledge what I'm saying here? You, re you realize you're that guy that tries to replay the same joke over and over again looking for attention? It's all right, buddy. Mama's calling you. Go get the attention from her. It's tough. It's tough when someone's so desperate for someone's attention. Uh, yeah, David, hopefully you're all right, man. Pretty stale. Pretty stale, bro. You got a rally jersey? That's pretty dope. What do you mean, Mike? Yeah, that guy's pretty weird in the comments. Uh, are they canceling more Leaf games? Yeah, they might be. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Hunter, it's all good, buddy. I mean, that's why these guys need to go back into school. Some of these, some of these kids, man, they're at, they've been at home too long. Bruise with the boys for Oilers blues. Sounds good to me. There you go. Never. Swerve, I hope we get some positive news. Yeah, Peter, we'll see. I'm probably going to, over the next few days, guys, I'll probably make a new 2022 NHL knock draft. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Buffalo Sports, 100%. I sound like Al from now. That's a new one. I've been told I look like him, so now I sound like him too. Thoughts on Sealy? Yeah, man, Sealy was looking good for a late draft pick. He was he was looking really solid. I liked Sealy. 
Yo, Dolly with the five. Let's get some Dolly hype in the chat. Appreciate the donuts. Do you think they will reschedule? No, I don't think so. Hate to be on that train of a uh, Debbie Downer, but yeah, I don't think so. Um, why wasn't Costa playing? T Way, thanks for the question. Um, I'm sure he was gonna get an opportunity to play. Maybe he was gonna play today against Germany, but um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they wanted to play him against Austria because he wouldn't have got that much action. But you know what's actually funny? Austria got a lot more action than I thought they were. They ended up getting, what, 20-plus shots? So maybe Costa should have played yesterday. Uh, but I'm taking Wallstead over Costa. But that, again, it's it's super early to say. But in my draft rankings, I had Wallstead over Costa. Um, let's see. Marcus says, you think Bruce will go 7-0 tonight? We'll see, buddy. We'll see. I, I think I think Bruce has been quite a bit of a spark for the Canucks, but I don't know. Again, <laughs> I hate to be that guy that goes on the negative side of things, but I don't know if it's going to be long-lasting. I do think I'm going to stand by my predictions. I still think the Canucks can squeak into the playoffs, so we'll see. Yeah, it's all good. Man's just like to ruin the vibe of the chat sometimes. Jordan said, if hockey... Well, I don't know why I'm calling that guy a man. That's a little boy right there. If hockey is going to be too dangerous for Canada, we will gladly take the Oilers down here in Houston. We can keep the appropriate name. <laughs> I did see it, Jeremiah. Yeah, Paul, the World Juniors are cancelled. Yes, guys, cancelled, cancelled, cancelled. Nah, Mike, that would be shit. No way. Nah. Yeah, Brute, I thought power looked really good. Uh, defensively, a couple mishaps, but uh, in terms of control with the puck, he had a really good poise, really good patience with the puck. I thought his skating with the puck was really impressive. Yeah, Paul, it sucks. John Burns with a five. Let's get some John Burns hype. Appreciate the donos. His last two days of the top 15 lowest temperatures in the world. Most of them were in Alberta. Why cancel the World Juniors? Nothing else to do in Alberta. Yeah, I appreciate the five, John Burns. What's up, Caden? What's up, Carter? Ryan, how's it going, buddy? Hello, Rachel. Uh, Kobe, the conference is just, I'm assuming, going to be about why they canceled... Um, Reasoning behind it, behind it, I guess risks they'll discuss. I don't know. I would imagine that's mostly what it is. Uh, Bubs, yeah. Hopefully you have a good holidays with your fam. Did you any? Uh, did you see any? Yeah, Ken Johnson, Paul. I like Ken Johnson a lot. I think just purely his, like his skill set is something that uh, I don't know if mesmerizing is the right word, but it just catches my attention. Like Ken Johnson, his skill set, his stick work. Um, yeah. I think if he continues to like accelerate his all around game, I think Kent Johnson's easily gonna be a stellar top six forward in this league. So yeah, Kent Johnson's sticks skill set is next level. What's up, Miles? Yeah, you know what? Columbus, I think they're, for me, up there for how they've been handling the retool or rebuild. But I will say this about Columbus. Um, I still think they're, like, on the edge. Like, I still think they're too good to be, like, bad. Like, <laughs> I think it would have been nice for Columbus to have one really bad year to get, like, that complete franchise number one guy. Because Kent Johnson's not that. Sillinger's not that. Even though they're going to be elite players in the NHL. I still think Columbus... Um, I still think Columbus hasn't gotten that number one guy. They have the number one D-man. I mean, I think I'm so high on Wierenski. Like, still. Like, Wierenski's so good now. I think Wierenski's going to be so good for a while. Um, yeah. And I think when we talk about 2026, I'll probably maybe talk about this in a video or something, but 2026, Wierenski, um probably ends up being 
like one of the best like one two punch on that US team for defense. Yo, Jeremiah with the 20 says, have a beer or two on me, my friend. I know this is the furthest from your dreams as far as the world juniors hang in. I know it's been a rough couple weeks. The word I was looking for with Clay was wholesome. Yes, Jeremiah. Thank you so much for the 20. Let's get some Jeremiah hype in the chat. I really do appreciate that, man. You know I do. Um, yeah, it sucks, man. It sucks. I think, uh, and particularly, like, I just, as a Canadian fan, because I'm seeing a couple people talk about it, it's... Uh, it's it sucks man i think i think this could have been a winning team for sure i mean yeah i think there was always question marks but canada coming into this tournament was heavy favorites so i think we would have seen likely a canada gold yeah max sounds good buddy any word on if they will try to reschedule it later in 2022 nah i don't think that happened Where does Lambert land in the draft? I think easily top five. I'm really high on Lambert. I, I Well, I think that's an obvious statement. I personally would have Lambert in my top three rankings right now, but I think he for sure goes top five. It's hard to say sometimes, right? Because for me, I had Eklund um, in my top five, maybe even my, in my top three. I think I had Eklund at one point ranked like three, three or four. So the fact that he fell to San Jose... Like anything can happen, right? So for me, ranking wise, I probably have Lambert in my top three right now, but you never know with depending on who lands where in the uh, draft. Yeah, Jack, like you're right. Lambert could become like the Eklund that falls to maybe five, six, seven. It depends. Like if a bunch of teams are looking for a center, right? Or even, I don't know. I would say that it, there are definitely quite a few centers that are catching eyes in the top 10, so. So double IHF just tweeted. Okay, let me look. Yeah, let's look at it. Okay, so Bruce Garriott just tweeted out, the decision to shut down the IIHF World Junior Tournament because of four positive tests doesn't make sense. Who is behind that decision? And then Darren Dreger responded with a quote tweet saying, the IIHF medical group would be the leading edge on this. I'm sure there will be an explanation. So then let's look at the IIHF tweet. Sorry, I'll pull this up right now on the stream. So official announcement, the 2022 World Juniors have been canceled due to COVID-19. Full statement. Let me just... There. Following a recommendation by the Tournament COVID-19 Medical Group and IIHF Medical Committee, the IIHF Council has decided that due to the ongoing spread of COVID-19 and Omicron variant, the 2022... IHF World Junior, that's why I'd like to say double IHF. Championship will be cancelled to ensure the health and safety of all participants. The decision comes following a positive case on a player on the Russian national team, which would have necessitated a forfeit of Russia Slovakia game scheduled for 29th of December. The game is the third to be cancelled due to pos positive t cases. In addition to ensuring the health and safety of participants, the council has determined that with another forfeiture, the third forfeited game in two days, the sportive integrity of the event has been compromised and the event must be canceled. Well, I think this is the problem right here. You decided to forfeit games instead of postpone them, you dummies. <laughs> Basically, what I'm seeing here is the IIHF's rules backfired on them because they were forced to forfeit games instead of reschedule because they have a strict schedule. Southside, thank you so much for the two. Let's get some Southside in the hype, hype in the chat. Appreciate the dono. I'm all over the place right now. Well, you didn't do enough, clearly. Holy shit.
I'm still not following why the medals had to be handed out by January 5th. Holy shit, man. Jordan with the five. Appreciate the dono, man. It says, Happy New Year, HTH. Rip to the 2022 World Juniors. Thank you, Jordan. Really appreciate the donos, guys. Always am thankful for you guys. Thanks for being in the chat. Holy, what a shit show. Yeah, I mean, like I said, guys, it's it's mixed here for me. I think IIHF is lazy in a lot of ways. I think because it's playing in Canada, I think that took a ma major part in it. I think there's a lot of different layers to this, for sure. To me, there's just a lot of layers that I don't know if I have the energy to really... <laughs> I don't know. Mohammed, I don't know what you mean. Does that mean gold medal will be canceled too? I don't know what that means, man. The World Juniors is canceled. There is no gold medal. No, Yola. There's there's no signs of being rescheduled here. Man, guys, here's what I'll also just put on top of this for you guys. Because I think some of you are like to me it would be shocking if they rescheduled. Because they would basically be going against what they've stood kind of pat on. They completely just canceled the U eighteen women's tournament. If they went ahead to reschedule a World Juniors tournament for the men, that would look even 10 times more disturbing than them just canceling the women's tournament in general. Like, that would... The the backlash on that would... I mean, it's just in my opinion, that would be just bullshit. That would be stupid. It's already stupid enough that they just straight out canceled the women's tournament without making a second effort. But if they went ahead to try to reschedule this World Juniors tournament after just not even making an effort with a women's tournament, um, yeah, there's <laughs> there's so many disturbing layers to this, man. Yeah, I mean, they didn't put an effort. That's just how it is. Well, Rachel, you know why it wasn't a bubble? And I was t I was telling a couple people before. Money, 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 money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. That's why. Um. Yeah, this sucks. I've probably said that like a thousand times on the stream. Pete, buddy, come on. Let's think about it for a second, man. Do you think it's do you think it's free? Pete, do you think it is free to put all of the necessary restrictions, equipment, things that are put in place to implement a bubble? You think that's free? You think it's free to put all those restrictions in, free to do all that work? Free to get those workers? You think that you think that's free? I can tell you right now. Talk to the NHL about how expensive that playoff bubble was. And I can tell you, uh, money-wise, the World Juniors didn't do anything uh, for last year too much. I mean, well, the only thing that basically, like when you do a bubble format and you do things like that, the only thing that gets you even a little bit of money is just ads. That's it, advertising. That's That's basically it. Any other revenue stream is just thrown to the shitter.
Yeah, Pete. The NHL lost an insanely amount of money when they did the bubble. That year, the NHL lost a stupid amount of money. A stupid amount of money. 100%. No, I don't think anyone would argue that. Like, there's, there's no conspiracy theory behind that. Like, they lost a stupid amount of money that year. I'm saying that year. I mean, it was last year. Um, Boris says, what are your thoughts on Team Canada this year? Yeah, I mean, they probably should have, could have won. Well, Pete, because they were on, they've been on pace to make a lot of money this year. Um, dun, dun, dun. yeah, Stammer not getting a chance with the Olympics. Yeah. But again, guys, welcome. If you're a new subscriber, I hope you give this channel a chance. I'll still be doing NHL stuff. I'll still be doing like international stuff. I mean, here's what I'll say. Even though I'm basically, I've lost a lot of interest. I will still likely do some stuff with the Olympics, but like a lot less than I would have if the NHL was going like a lot, lot less. I still can, cannot believe Bedard passed that. <laughs> so unselfish, but Bedard could have got five goals yesterday. It, I cannot believe he passed that. But yeah, hit, the, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Appreciate the support, guys. And uh, yeah, if we can get 150 likes, that'd be solid. I'll probably go till 4.30, so another eight minutes, and then I'm going to end. What's up, Karubal? Rassi. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons, but... I would say, if you don't honestly know, I would say... <laughs> probably, I mean, down to lack of effort and importance on money for them. I mean, I think Dennis said it in the chat. That's that's what sums up a lot in this world, I'd say. Money. Uh, Vandals. Interesting question. I usually fill up these waters on the tap. These water bottles. Uh, Marcus says, Canucks still trading for Hall and Engvall, eh? Maybe. All right, Andre. Yeah, you in the cell sucks for sure. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I know there's different people in the chat right now. So, guys, if I was to stream an NHL game tonight, I don't know. I've kind of, I don't know if I have the interest to do so. But, like I said, I think timing-wise, the 8.30 game makes sense to me. But I'm not too sure. It's Mike Smith's return. Good time. Not too late. I just don't know. It's like 4.30 right now. I don't think I'm in the mindset to go live for a game in two hours. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, guys, I do appreciate the support. All the subscribers, hey, it's free to subscribe, so I'm always thankful for you guys giving me a shot. Uh, always hitting that like button means a lot. What's up, Dev? Uh, Borgia, there's a bunch of NHL games. They're not going to postpone all of them. I guess that's the one kind of somewhat positive is they're still hockey. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, I do, Day. I think so. All right. A couple more minutes, then I'll end. If you guys have any more questions, drop them in the chat. Ginger says, Red Deer had a wedding party in the hotel on the Team USA. We're supposedly mingling. 
Ginger, I don't know where you saw that. That's wild. Where did you see that? Bro, is, there, is this some Reddit rumors again, or what's going on? Oh, no. Chris Peters did tweet that out. I, why did I miss that? Team officials have stated their players are extremely cost of staying in their rooms, obeying all protocols, and yet this still keeps happening. I'm told there's a wedding reception planned for the hotel U.S. and Sweden are staying in tonight. What else can they do? One staff member on a European team in the same hotel as USA and Red Deer calls the current COVID protocols and lack of isolation from the community ridiculous. Say they've, saying they've come into contact with said wedding guests. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Now I'm actually even... <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. That's the double IHF for you. <laughs> I didn't even know about that part. <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't even know about that part. That's even more of a fucking shit show. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I just want to rant. But I don't... What do I do, guys? It's like a lost cause, but... I just want to laugh. Part of me wants to laugh, part of me wants to rant. I don't know which one... What's up, Nick? Maybe I'll make a video. <laughs> a freaking wedding. I can't believe that shit. A wedding. There's no way. <laughs> a wedding, guys. A wedding. Like, it's December 29th, right? <laughs> they lasted three days in this tournament. Three days. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Three. They lasted three days. Not even three days. What? <laughs> or, yeah, three days. 26, 27, 28th. Jordan says people have weddings at hotels every day. Not a big deal. Jordan, buddy. I think you're missing... Jordan, buddy. You're, you're missing the... The, con the connect here. That it never should have happened in the same hotel as a team or teams that are trying to stay isolated from COVID-19. <laughs> like, obviously you weren't doing a full that like full-on lockdown and and bubble but weddings with big groups of people should never have happened <laughs> extreme buddy I'm not going to keep answering the same question, guys. I've been live for a while here. I'm not going to keep saying if I agree or disagree with this decision. I've been live for like an hour. I've, I've been asked that question like a thousand times. Guys, oh my god. Some of you are just confusing with what I'm saying.
No one's talking about the freaking importance of a wedding. Like, no one's talking about that. No one's discussing that. We're talking about putting the players in a safe environment for them not to get COVID. We're, we're not talking about having a wet. People are going to start debating in the comments whether a wedding is right or not to have at this time. We're not, we're not discussing that. That's not what I'm talking about. So please just listen to what I'm saying. I'm talking about putting players in a hotel where they are protected, where they are not being exposed to other people. I'm not talking about if a wedding's okay right now in December 2021. <laughs> Some people are going to start mixing up my words and going, oh, this guy thinks a wedding's not okay, that love is not okay. <laughs> I'm not even going into that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just strictly talking about protecting the players. <laughs> Just not having the players exposed to the randoms. It's pretty simple, I think. Uh, ben, apparently it was Sweden and the USA that was in that same hotel. And US was the first team to get a couple of positive tests. Well, that's what I'm saying, kind of. Exactly. They... they like, oh, okay, Overdrive's talking about it right now. Like, why are you going ahead with the tournament without, like, that? that's just that's just how stupid it sounds. That you, you didn't have the money to back it up, where <laughs> you couldn't find, like, it, they had to be in a, in a public, like, I just, I don't get it. I really don't. Well, Jordan, clearly it's not safe, buddy. I mean, the, the, the tournament's canceled. There was positive tests left and right. I'm not going to go into the question of if this virus is deadly or all this stuff, but what I am saying is clearly it wasn't good enough. If, if they were in a scenario where they were in uh, a separated, whether it was place to stay or to hotel, whatever you want to call it, they wouldn't have got, they wouldn't have got it. They wouldn't have got it if they were just in a separated area, a separated building. They just wouldn't have got it. I'm not talking about, like, you, some of you guys keep going into this conversation. I'm not going to talk about common colds, talk about deadly virus. Like, I'm not going to go into, I'm no medical health official here. I'm just talking about common sense. Like, strictly common sense. To me, it's very simple. I don't understand why it would be debated. Book, like, kind of what just Mark said. Book private facilities for the players that are involved in this tournament. Not in the same hotel uh, or same facilities or same room. Like, whatever it is. Because that, that's even more so a joke that if a couple of U.S. players were going for some drinks or something with wedding guests, are you, are you serious? That That's insane. Like I said, the, tur the tournament was never going to last if they weren't serious about it. Clearly, it wasn't serious. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Uh, please hit that subscribe button again. It really does mean a lot. It's free. It gives me... Uh, a chance to keep making content, keep streaming for you guys. So I hope you guys, guys do give me that chance. Please hit that like button. More likes means more exposure for the channel. Uh, I'm probably going to post a video on YouTube here over the next, I don't know, a few hours over the next day. Uh, I'll probably maybe upload a couple videos on TikTok. If you want to follow me on TikTok, Hot Take Hockey. On Twitter, Hot Take Hockey. I tweet out a bunch. Instagram, Hot Take Hockey. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. This sucks, uh, but stick around. Let's keep chatting hockey. Uh, the sport's not looking so hot right now, but I hope we can keep chatting hockey and find the positive out of the negative. So appreciate you guys, and let's chat soon. Look out for the content and streams to come. I might be live tonight. might post some videos. Look out for it. Bye, guys. Peace.